Welcome back on a day when we are thanking our veterans for their service. Many try to envision what they went through. A museum in Georgia is focused on the experiences of World War II paratroopers. Fox Carolina's Myra Ruiz takes us there. The Currahee Military Museum in Toccoa, Georgia, gives people a place to connect to the past. Our military connection that we have with World War II. Executive Director Brenda Carlin says the small town had a big role in preparing paratroopers for battle during World War II. But they wanted these to be a little bit different. They wanted them to be uh, some of the most physically fit soldiers in the Army. Rigorous training up and down Currahee Mountain at Camp Tacoa. It's burned into memory for vets who shared their stories on a video for the museum. They had a lot of physical exercise, you know, and nighttime marches and things like that. Maybe 15, 20 miles a day. Every place they moved, they moved on the double. 17,000 Army paratroopers trained at Camp Tacoa. My dad was one that first told me about Camp Tacoa. We used to come and run the mountain. Of course, I didn't understand the significance of it. Few did. After the war, Camp Tacoa closed and the world moved on. After the war, it was not unusual for the men to come home and just want to forget about what they had been through. That includes her father, DeWitt Carlin. I was 17 when he passed away, so um, I never really got to talk to him about his military history. And he was with the 9th Air Force, which was right there with uh, the 101st. Brenda Carlin says it took decades for many Americans to renew their interest in the military. In 2001 came 9-11. There seemed to be so much more patriotism, uh, more you know, insecurity because we don't really know, you know, what's going on. And we just needed somebody to look to. The terror attack coincided with the release of HBO's Band of Brothers. It featured the U.S. Army's 101st Airborne Division, which included 1,600 men who were among the first to train at Camp Tacoa. Most everybody knows now Band of Brothers. And through that, Camp Tacoa. The museum seems to attract people wanting to learn more about what their loved ones went through while serving. Don't wait till they're gone. You know, let's, let's find out what we can today while they're here. In Tacoa, Maya Ruiz, Fox Carolina News. Well, the Curry Heen Military Museum is open from 10 to 4 every day except Sunday. Admission is $10 for adults, $5 for kids 9 and under, and free for active military members.